What are you stopping for, Timmy? We have work to do. Timmy's tired from carrying the bag. <sighs> Timmy's going home to have a nice one more Timmy. And watch Dateline. Uh, unless Timmy wants to be replaced like Darren was on Bewitched, he'll shut up and get with the program. <sighs> okay, Tabitha. That's better. Now, we have to make sure that what the angel is afraid of comes to pass. Charity? I fear for her. She could become lost to the dark side. If my plan works, Charity will be playing for our team starting tonight. <sighs> Hurry up, Timmy. Now, why do you keep warning me about keeping my daughters away from Chad Harris. What do you think is going to happen if Simone or Whitney get involved with them? A disaster. Worse than anything you could imagine. I wonder what they're talking about. What's that in your hand, Chad? It's what Orville left his sick bed to find and destroy, Coach. My birth certificate. What, your birth certificate? What's left of it anyway? Teresa, you need to sleep. It's all right. It's my fault. Your father's death must have hit her pretty hard. She keeps saying it's her fault. Why would she say that? Shh, go to sleep. It's my fault. Shh. Yeah. I, have to I think you should call her boyfriend. I know if something terrible happened to me that I'd want Gwen by my side. Uh, do you have his number? I'll call him and get him over here. It's going to be all right, Teresa. Everything is all right. She must have his number around here somewhere. Please. Please. It's okay. The worst is over. Nothing else bad is gonna happen. I have to tell him. I can't believe you're still afraid of losing Ethan just because of a magazine article you read. Sharon, I know it sounds silly, but the article said whichever man's arms a woman is in at midnight New Year's Eve is the man she'll be with for the rest of the year. Silly? It's ridiculous. I mean, that article was just another ploy to sell magazines. And besides, even if it was true, then that would mean that I would be spending the rest of the year with Luis because I was in his arms at midnight. And we both know that the odds of that happening are, what, a million to none? Do we? Sheridan, do we really? <laughs> yes, Gwen. I mean, me and Luis? It's absurd, ridiculous, it's, it's laughable. You know, you never did answer my question before. Is it possible that you are falling in love with Louise? I mean, be honest, Sheridan. How did you feel when Louise had his arms around you tonight? Oh, Louise. It's all right. It's all right. Who are you gonna choose, Louise? Your father or someone from a family who destroyed my life? Took your mother's happiness. Choose, Louise. Stop! Look out behind you! Louise! Louise! I let my father die. Louise, I've been looking all over for you. Is there anything I can do for you? Thanks for offering night, but no. Okay, well, if you need anything, I'm here for you, man, okay? Yeah. Damn that Julian Crane. Julian Crane? What about him? Sam found a piece of paper in my father's wallet with Julian Crane's private phone number on it. What was your father doing with Julian Crane's phone number? That's what I want to know. Julian swore that he had no idea why my father had it, but... I don't believe him. I think Crane knows a hell of a lot more than he's letting on only I can't prove it. So what are you going to do about it? I don't know. It's not my... 
stopped being a cop and started being a son. A son who killed his own father, Luis. The man was holding Sheridan at gunpoint. Stop being so hard on yourself. Look, all I know is that my father's dead. And I'm responsible. I did that. I caused Mama all that pain. God help me. Killed my father and made my mother a widow. Tim, we're just going to visit some of my oldest friends. Tell the pinch to me. He wants to wake up now. <laughs> it's funny you should mention waking up. One of my friends gets really grumpy when her rest is disturbed. <laughs> oh well, tough toadstools. <laughs> Can't be helped. Come on. What are you waiting for now? Tell them to go in without Timmy. He'll meet your friends in another time. Suit yourself. It's either the cemetery or Fluffy and her friends. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, tell the wait for Jimmy! Be honest, Sheridan. How did you feel in Louise's arms? I felt safe. Secure. And despite all that had happened, I just felt this sense that everything would turn out all right. So you felt safe, secure, happy to be in his arms? Yes. <gasps> I was right. You've fallen in love with Louise. <laughs> no, Gwen. I, I mean, of course I felt safe and secure. Luis had just kept me from falling through the skylight. I mean, if he hadn't, then I would have been the one to have ended up dead on the floor, not Martin Fitzgerald. I mean, of course I'm happy. Happy to be alive. That's all? Are you sure? Just because it felt wonderful to be in Luis's arms does not mean that I'm in love with him. You know, it, it was a situation. That's all. I'm sorry, Mama. I'm so sorry. I mean, I've watched you light that candle for years, including the one for Antonio. It was your symbol of hope, of faith in the man you married, and his love for our family. You never stopped believing that one day he would come home. And I took that all away from you. It's because of me the man you love died. You never forgive me. Teresa must have some information on the boy she loves around here somewhere. A name, a number. Something to clue me in on who he is so I can call him and get him over here. That's right, Teresa. So... Ethan, don't. You, you can't do that. Do what? I know why you're upset, Miguel. It's all very clear to me now.
Now, where is she? Who, Tabitha? The grave we're looking for is from the 17th century. It's the grave of a wicked witch I once knew. Wicked witch? Timmy thinks that's redundant. Well, stop thinking and keep looking. The sooner we finish our business here, the sooner we can lure Charity over to our side. Here lies evil. Me and Simone got to Oval's apartment just as he was setting fire to my birth certificate. Is that why Orville left the hospital? Looks that way. Can you imagine the effort it took for Orville to drag himself out of his hospital bed, get dressed, walk all the way to his apartment just to find mm -hmm. Chad's birth certificate so he could destroy it? That is what I call a man with a mission. I can't believe he found that kind of energy. Why would the old dude go to all that trouble on account of me, though? I wonder what he was doing with your birth certificate in the first place. You know, that's a good question, Coach. I mean, what is it about me that would make Orville want to find my birth certificate just to burn it? Beats me. Do you know, Dr. Russell? Gwen, you shouldn't be worrying about my romantic life, or rather my lack of it. I'm supposed to be making you feel better about Ethan, remember? Well, I'm not so sure you can, unless Teresa gets out of the picture. Teresa is no threat to your future with Ethan. She never has been, and she never will be. My nephew loves you, and only you. <sighs> Maybe you're right. Maybe I have put too much emphasis on proving that Teresa's in love with Ethan. It's the principle of the thing, you know? I want Ethan to know that I am not insecure and I'm not imagining things. Sheridan, I am almost positive that Teresa's handsome rich boyfriend is really Ethan. And once he finally realizes that I want Teresa out of our lives for good. But the only problem is, is that everything I've tried so far, nothing works. I keep hoping something's gonna happen to make Ethan finally see the truth. I know exactly what's going on, Miguel. You do? I remember what it was like being home with my sisters around the holidays, how much they value their privacy. You were right to stop me from going through Teresa's things like that. I was just protecting my sister. <laughs> Ethan. You know, I, I still can't imagine why Teresa blamed herself for your father's death. She had nothing to do with it. I know, it's probably just a grief talking. Uh, I'm glad that you and Teresa have your family around at a time like this. Thanks. I can see why my, why my mother likes you so much. Well, you know, I'm fond of Pilar, too. And I admire your family because you love and support and take care of each other. You know, you know Teresa, you, Pilar, Luis, you have such a strong bond. You know, I couldn't imagine one thing that could break you apart. Luis, I meant what I said. There's nothing to feel sorry for. I know you only did what you could. Yes, yeah, God, maybe. But not as a son. Not as Miguel and Teresa's brother. I failed you. I failed my family. No. You know, no matter what my father was in his life, whether or not he was a thief, whether or not he did abandon us, he was still my father. He was my flesh and blood. <laughs> and it's because of me that he died. How can this be? 
beach out of How can Jimmy's princess have a grave and not be in it? Mm -hmm. That's a very good question, Timmy. Well, it all started when... I'll have to tell you another time. There's the grave I've been looking for. Matilda? <laughs> Did she die waltzing? <laughs> no, but the flames were dancing around her. Timmy, uh, get me the candle and the herbs from my bag. <laughs> come, come, come. Thank you. Oh, oh, candle, candle. Hang on. Thank you, Timmy. what she's doing. <laughs> I must be doing something right, Timmy. I'm not in my grave now, am I? <laughs> no, but... Don't distract me. Now, oh, I'm going to get us the help we need to make sure that Charity comes over to our side. <sighs> Witches present and witches past. Grant me the power I need to last. Timmy, the spell I cast was to conjure up an old friend. Timmy thinks Telda conjured up one of her enemies from the dead by mistake. I have no idea why Orville would try to burn your birth certificate, Chad. How could I know? I don't know. Maybe he thought that's what you two were talking about just now. I mean, y'all seem pretty tight. Well, we're not. I have... No idea. I'm as much in the dark as you are. And what's left of Chad's birth certificate raises more questions than answers. Why? All his vital information, his parents, where he was born, was all burned when Orville set fire to the birth certificate. Look at here. Even his birth name has been crossed out. And Chad Harris written above it. It's pretty impossible to make out what that name is. You know, someone went through a lot of trouble to keep your identity a secret. I wonder why. Well, Orville knows why, and I intend to find out, no matter what it takes. Trust me, it doesn't matter how Teresa feels about Ethan. What counts is that Ethan loves you. Sheridan, I know what you're saying. It's just that, oh my goodness, my parents. Sheridan, they had to have heard what happened at the seascape tonight. I have to call them and let them know I'm okay. Well, I doubt they even know. They would have called you by now. No, I had my cell phone off all night and didn't even think to check the messages. I have to call them. Oh, well, go use the phone in my bedroom oh, if you okay. like. thank you. Oh, and Sheridan, thank you so much for trying to make me feel better about Ethan. I mean, especially after everything you've been through tonight. It's no wonder Ethan loves you so much. Thank you, Gwen. I love you and Ethan, too. And I'm sorry about the way I acted about Teresa being in Ethan's arms. Maybe it doesn't even matter whose arms you're in New Year's Eve. No. Maybe it doesn't matter. Louise, they're not responsible for your father's death. You did the right and honorable thing in saving Sheridan. She was an innocent victim. She didn't deserve to die. I understand that with my head, Mama, but... I know. Just... I know. I know in your heart. You wish you could have saved both Sheridan and your father. And you're probably wondering if you did all that you could. Please, listen to me. You must realize that nothing of what happened was your fault. 
Only God in heaven knows why Martin brought this on himself. Listen to me, please. You've got to believe me. What I'm saying is true. You don't need to stay. Teresa's sleeping. But thanks for being so concerned about my sister. Yeah, Teresa's very special. I know. Well, I'll just see myself out. I don't want to bother Pilar. Just be sure and tell her how sorry I am about her loss. I will. He left. No, Miguel. I have to tell him something. Make him come back. Teresa, calm down. I have to tell him the truth. What happened tonight was all my fault. Teresa, no, that's not true. Yes. My love for Ethan caused Papa's death. I don't know what went wrong. Jimmy's not hanging around to find out. Jimmy just wants you to know. Dark Spirit, she's the one who disturbed your sleep, not Jimmy. He's an innocent victim of circumstance. Why, you disloyal doll, you. Sorry, Talbot, but as Jimmy's princess taught him, survival of the fittest. Isn't that right, Dark Spirit? <coughs> Did the Dark Spirit just take up? <coughs> Dark Spirits, Light Spirit, bear wine. Hey, I'll repeat on you, kid. You're not dead. Oh, you wish he was. The hangover he's gonna have when he wakes up in the morning. I need a drink. I don't know what the world's coming to when a guy can't leave a party and catch a few Z's in the cemetery. Happy New Year! Yours won't be if you don't behave yourself, Timmy. Scaring me and then deserting me? Shame on you! I'm sorry, Tabitha, but when your moral fiber is made of polyester... Oh, never mind, never mind. We've wasted enough time as it is already. I have to conjure up my old friends from the dead. And since round one was a bust, I'm going to have to use my heavy artillery. Timmy, get me the box from my bag. Come on, come on, you use this weakling. Oh. oh. Now, we can get down to business. Oh, that had to have been the strangest New Year's Eve I've ever experienced. Wouldn't you agree, honey? Yes, strange. Whew. Simone, come back here, young lady. We still haven't discussed about your being with Chad tonight. I was helping him. You were deliberately disobeying me. I have told you over and over again to stay away from him, but you just do not seem to want to listen. Obviously, Chad is having a very bad influence on you. That's not fair. Your behavior proves it. And it's one of the reasons why I didn't want you to have anything to do with him. But, Mom... No, this is not up for discussion, Simone. I was right to forbid you and Whitney from having anything to do with that boy. And if you disobey me again, the consequences are going to be severe. Daddy. Sweetheart, no. I agree with your mother 100%. Well, I think you're both being unfair. Well, that's just too bad. May I go to bed now? Well, don't we get a good night? Good night. I'm uh, gonna go to bed, too. Good night, Mom. Good we night. love you, honey. I love you, too. Good night, sweetheart. <sighs> honey, I know that Simone being with Chad tonight has made you very upset, but I get the feeling that something else is bothering you. Nothing else is bothering me. I'm I'm just tired. It's been a long night. Well, what about when you were talking to Orville? Did he say something that's bothering you? <sighs> Teresa, it is not your fault that Papa's dead. Yes, it is. You don't understand. Yes, I do. 
All right, Whitney told me about what happened tonight. How Gwen wanted to meet this non-existent boyfriend of yours. I was so worried that Gwen would prove that I didn't have a boyfriend. And, and that Ethan would think I'd been deliberately lying to him all this time. Trying to hurt Gwen come between them. I was afraid he'd hate me. So I prayed. I prayed that something would happen, that fate would somehow rescue me like it has before. And it did. In the most horrible way. Papa fell through the ceiling and died. And it's all my fault. Listen to me. It is not your fault. I have thought about this a lot. There's only one person responsible for Papa's death. Please, Neil, there's no need to apologize to Teresa or Miguel for what happened tonight. They don't blame you, honey, any more than I do. This is something I have to do. I need to know that Miguel and Teresa don't hate me. It's okay, Teresa. <laughs> Why, Mama? Why did he do it? The reason that I was tense in Orville's room was because I feel like I haven't been doing enough for him. Oh, sweetheart, you've gone out of your way for him. He's lucky to have you as his doctor. Babe, are you sure he didn't say anything to worry you? Yes. I mean, you know, most of what Orville says doesn't even make any sense. Yeah, I know. It must be frustrating. More than you can imagine. Oh, babe, I just wish there was something I could do to help you. I just want you to go upstairs and get some sleep so you can be rested for tomorrow. All right. You coming up? Oh, I still have some work to do. I'll wait up. No, I, I mean, I... I don't know how long I'll be, and, and I, I'd feel guilty if I thought that I was keeping you up. Are you sure? Yeah. All right, honey. Good night. And I love you. I love you too, Ansem. And our life together. Right back at you. <laughs> hey, sweetheart. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you too, TC. Why did Orville warn me to keep Whitney and Simone away from Chad? What does it mean? Who is Chad Harrison? How is he a threat to me and my family? I'm gonna find out. Once and for all. Keep him away, Eve. Keep him away. Who away, Orville? Oh, who? who you, you talking about me? Keep him away. You have to, Eve. If it is me, why? What's the deal, man? Who am I supposed to keep away from? Orville? Orville! Damn! Crazy old man's gonna make me crazy. Dr. Russell. It was late, but she ain't been going that long. I guess I can drop by and give it to her tonight. <laughs> Before she accuses me of stealing it. I'm glad you're here. Gwen is in my bedroom using the phone to call her parents to let them know that she wasn't hurt tonight at the seascape. 
At least not physically. What do you mean? She's upset about seeing Teresa in your arms tonight. I figured that's why she was angry and took off in that cab. She's more hurt than angry, Ethan. Well, she shouldn't be. I told her I was going to give my condolences to Bilar, and that's when I saw Teresa. I mean, Sheridan, I couldn't just walk away from her. The girl had just seen her father fall to his death. I had to console her. Well, then stay. Tell her that. You know, I'm sure that you two can smooth things out. I'm sure we can, too. But first, I want to know how you are. I'm fine, really. I mean, it's scary how this life can be over so quickly. I mean, in here, I've been given another chance. More ways than one. You know that I've always feared that I was a murderess. And even worse than that, I always feared that the person I killed was Louise's father, Martin Fitzgerald. Yeah, I know. But now you know that can't be true. You know, Ethan, don't get me wrong. I'm sorry for what happened tonight, for the pain that Luis and Pilar and the rest of the family are feeling, but at the same time, a tremendous weight has been lifted from my shoulders. I mean, I'm free, Ethan. I'm finally free. Yeah, I couldn't be happier for you, Sheridan. <sighs> and I'm very happy and grateful that Luis was able to save your life tonight. Why, Mama? Tell us why you did it. We don't understand how he could do something so awful. <laughs> how could Papa kidnap Sheridan at gunpoint, hold her hostage on the roof, and not expect Luis to do anything? How could Papa do that? I wish I had an answer for both of you. But I don't. I don't know why Papa did what he did. Or, or what happened to change him? Look, I just want both of you to know that I'm so sorry for what happened tonight. More sorry than I can ever say. We don't blame you, Luis. Never. We've gotten through some tough stuff before, right? So we'll get through this, huh? By sticking together. As a family. <laughs> Come here, guys. This should do the trick, Timmy. Mm. What of a witch's cauldron? <laughs> yes, it even comes pre-assembled. Not like the old ones I used to use. Warning. Exercise extreme caution when conjuring the dead. Dishwasher and microwave safe. Timmy has to give it to his princess. She thinks of everything. Timmy, uh, hand me those herbs. Those, those herbs. <sighs> Timmy gives Tavlin A for effort, but Del she'll conjure up any of her old friends this way. Delva doesn't have her powers back, and she's using a cheesy cauldron to boot. Wait and see, Timmy. Wait and see. Which is present and which is past. Grant me the power I need to last. Forces of the netherworld, hear my plea. Send the witch Matilda up to me, up to me. Is Talitha going to conjure up another drunk? Hush, Timmy. I think the spell is working this time. Out of your slumber, now awake. My friend Matilda, the mean old snake. Out of your slumber, now awake. My friend Matilda, the mean old snake! Oh, what a night. 
Maybe a cup of hot tea will help me sleep. <sighs> Who can that be at this hour? I saw the light on. I decided to take a chance. Take a chance on what? Well, I gotta see your mom. By the way. It's now or never. I have to find out what Orville knows about Chad Harris and his connection to my daughters. think how close I came to losing you tonight. I'm here. I'm safe. Thanks to Luis. I still can't get over how he chose me over his own father. He made the right choice. Martin Fitzgerald brought on the events that eventually caused his own death. I know. I know Luis and I have had our differences. But I am forever grateful to Luis for saving your life tonight. So am I. I just can't imagine the toll that Luis's choice is taking on he and his family. I mean, what Luis must be going through right now. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. Come on, you guys. We'll get through this together. It's not gonna be easy, but we'll make it. We have each other. <laughs> And we have our faith. We're here for you, Luis. Like you've always been there for us.